In this video, we are going to dive deeper into editing the way your blog looks. We're also going to look at the way the themes work and how themes change the settings you have and options you have on that theme. We will then look in paid for paid and free themes on Tumblr. To get started with this, we need to go to the blog settings section. So to do that, we have to go to accounts and we go down to edit appearance. Your appearance section will open up for that blog that you selected. What you need to now do is go down to the website theme section and say edit theme. A new box will then come up or a window rather and this is the edit appearance section of Tumblr. You've got a lot more settings. Um, on the left hand side you can see here you've got the title which we added previously. You've also got that description, the header image which is this image over here on the top of the blog and you've got the avatar shape and the avatar where you can add the avatar. As you can see my blog looks fairly good and I'm actually really happy with it. I wouldn't change my the blog um, theme to a different theme because I actually like the way this goes and it actually works well with Truth Social. But in this video we are going to go through all these settings and how we can change them so that they look better or the way your blog you'd like your blog to look. So let's go back to the left hand side and as you can see, as I mentioned, those are all the things we changed in the previous video. What we've now got is the title font, which we're able to change. So we're able to change the title of the font. So let's go down and let's find one that I might be more happy with. Let's try this one. And as you can see, it's just changed the logo or my, um, my title of the blog. And I'm able to either make it bold or not bold. So I'm going to leave it not bold like that. And then background color. We talked about background color in the previous video. But here you're able to change the way your background color is. Now I'm going to keep mine white. But as you can see you can just go run around here. And you can change the way your background color is. I'm just going to go back to white. And there we go. Then title color. We did this in a previous video, but you've got a little bit more options here. You're able to select it better. So I'm just going to go and choose one that's a little bit more true socially. And there we go. And then you've got your accent color, which is all of these things. So it's like this ask me anything. As you can see, as soon as I start moving it, that's what starts changing. So I'm going to make a little bit more darker blue like so. Okay, great. So that's just changed like the buttons on your on your blog and stuff like that. Now you need to remember that all of these things on the left hand side here change depending on the theme you have. So what we have in this theme might be different for the theme you choose ultimately at the end of this video. But I figured that a lot of people will use the default theme. So that's why I'm going through the default section of this theme itself. Show header image will turn the header image on and off. As you can see, as soon as I turn it off, the display showed that the header image was now gone. I'm going to return that back on. And stretch header image would stretch that image across the whole of the screen. So as you can see, my header image is, a, is across the whole screen is because I actually made this header image in Photoshop. But if you didn't, you could select this option and it would actually stretch that image across. I'm going to keep that enabled anyways. Show avatar would hide that truth social avatar. So I'm going to hide the truth social avatar. And as you can see, it's now gone. I also like having it there. So I'm going to keep it on. Show title would hide truth social. As you can see, it's now gone. I'm going to keep it enabled. And show description would hide or show the description, which I'll also keep enabled. Now we're down to the theme options, which as I mentioned would change. And you're able to change the layout. So I'm on regular now. Narrow would make it more narrow. And grid would put all the images in a grid format. Pretty much like um, the explore feature on Tumblr already. It just puts them like this. It looks very much like Google+. Plus. I prefer having it in the regular view. So I'm gonna just going to keep it like that. The next section just changes the way people interact with your blog. So show navigation for enable would ena enable or disable show navigation. Um, endless scrolling would mean when people are scrolling on your blog, it carries on um, just automatically adding that content. I would keep that on. 
related posts with ad related posts to your blog, which I would keep off because you want to try to keep people on your blog and interested in your content. Then finally, you're able to add things like your discuss short name so that you can have a link back and your Google Analytics ID. Now, Google Analytics is a tool to see how many people are on, have been following your blog, what they've been checking on. It's like an analytical tool to see how popular your content is. I would really recommend adding your Google Analytics ID here. To do that, you would go to Google, just type Google Analytics and you would fill out all these all this information to get a Google Analytics account. Now, if you've got a Google account, you'll have a Google Analytics account, but you will need to set it up and you will need to just go on there and play around with it. Now let's go through some different themes. So if we go back to the top of the screen, we'll see that I am using the Optica theme and I can edit the HTML over here, but just under that, we can say browse themes. So let's click on browse themes and some themes are going to come up on the left hand side and it's really cool because we can see exactly how these themes look on our Tumblr blog. So let's go, I'm going to see what minimal looks like. I just click on it and that's what minimal would look like. Now, as I said, I actually prefer the other blog, but let's go to rubber and it automatically starts changing the blog and that's what rubber would look like. And you can go through here and you can find a blog or a, a, a theme rather that you like. The other way to do it is to go to, you see it says all themes at the top here. We can now go through and choose themes. So if you want a theme that works with grid mode, you would select grid. If you want to pay for a theme, you can click premium themes and then it'll come up and it'll show all of the themes that you actually have to buy. Now these themes, you, as I mentioned, you do have to pay for them, but that means that you are going to get a little, there is a little bit more features and options available on these themes. They do look a little bit nicer and they're going to be very unique. The other way to do it is by going onto the internet and finding a theme that you're interested in and buying it on places like Theme Forest, for example. But that's a little bit more advanced. So just go and find a theme here that you're interested in and then let's use that theme. So I'm going to go back to free themes. And then I'm going to find a different theme. Let's try the simplify. Okay, great. So let's say I wanted to use simplify, which I don't really, but let's just do it for the sake of the video. I'm going to say use. And now you'll see that my appearance has changed quite a lot. I don't have as many settings as I did in my previous theme, which is okay. What I'm trying to say is every theme has different appearance options and different theme options. So go through your theme, find one you want, and then work through those theme and appearance options. You now know how to work with your appearance and theme options, and you know how to change your theme. Go and find yourself a really great theme, and let us know in the comment box what kind of theme you chose and why you chose it for your blog.